guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Maseko. if you're new here hi welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank thank you so much for returning to my new subscribers please 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 i hope that you stay and continue being a part of my mini mini family and welcome um all right i'm gonna quickly make a video my battery is like at four percent literally i'm taking chances but i'm gonna take this chance because i have this and they do all of a sudden i don't know why i want to sleep anyway i want to talk to you guys about reasons i don't know how many reasons are there that is why i haven't numbered them yet but reasons why i don't like being a doctor yeah <laughs> so guys in life good and bad coexist right and it doesn't mean that if you are always happy about something you cannot be um happy unhappy at some point you know there are certain things that just make you dislike something but that does not mean that you do not love it you get me <laughs> that's me and this relationship for the uh, love of medicine anyway um point number one the reason why i do not like being a doctor is the fact that i love being a doctor do you get me it's like that relationship yeah now it's a relationship yeah, that is uh, love and hate attraction or whatever but that is like my number one reason I just love being a doctor so much that sometimes I hate it you understand I hate um, being a doctor because of how much I I love it sometimes I don't know if you get me I hope that you get me because I, I don't know how else to explain this but um, yeah that is basically point number one point number two for me which is also very big big row uh, uh, a big point is the that we are underpaid as doctors i feel like we are underpaid i don't know everybody has their own opinion maybe some people are happy but i feel like for the amount of work that you put in compared to the salary nothing we are definitely underpaid so that is one of the reasons why i dislike being a doctor so my camera is gonna switch off now there goes my pretty pretty energy anyway um the money is not like people think doctors have a lot of money guys they do not have i'm going to link down um Zbo's link from a video she posted i'm not sure if it's a couple of months ago guys I mean, nah, i'm very bad i think it's maybe a month ago or two she posted a video about doctors not having money like people will ask you for money because they think doctors have money doctors do not have money I wanna tell it. and because most people are looking to them for money they literally do not even have anywhere to go for money do you hear me you can't borrow money from anyone because everybody thinks they are supposed to borrow money from you because you have a lot of money one turn anyway that is point number two point number three I hate calls this one I think I'll just put it. I hate doing calls. Calls, standby, basically waking all night, um, seeing patients for money. And they make sure that on your payslip it takes a large portion of your money. So you're going to do calls because if you don't, then the basic salary is just meh. So I, I hate doing calls. I hate doing calls because for me it does not make sense why I have to be a... Uh, Emlyn Okay. Oh, I have to stay up the whole night and see patients. Cut the rip you are there. Seeing patients. It, it it really for me I don't know who came up with that concept, but that person you are wrong. You are wrong for having done that. Like how can at three AM someone present um with a soft finger and I have to see them? You know, mostly it's supposed to be for emergencies, but now we end up seeing patients with uh, pathologies that can wait until the next morning at night. Why? Because people are people, they are going to adapt. And people have really adapted to the situation. They're like, ah, no, if I go at night, I know for um, 
I'll be able to see a dog. Like all of those stories, there is a lot. But I hate doing calls because also doing calls is very unsafe, guys. Post call, you have to continue working until around about ten or eleven. Or some people do not do not even have post call at all. You have to go to the wards and walk work. So or Paikela with the first shift, ne? And then the four o'clock people are going home. Six o'clock nurses are going home. There's a new shift. You're still there, dressed in the very same clothes. In the morning, people are coming in. Nurses are coming in. Nurses come in first, and then the other doctors come in later. And you're still there. All right. And then now it's tea time. Even the nurses go for tea time and you're still there. <laughs> I hate calls, guys. And then after that, you're expected to drive. Like, nobody cares about your safety. On the road, you have to drive home. Because you're a dog, take it Yeah. So, that is why. And also, point number four, I hate losing patients. That is, like, one of the most traumatic things that doctors go through but it's not some like it's not things that we dwell on so we feel like they do not affect us and not exactly in a very very bad man like way we don't feel like we are affected by losing our patients because we have to move on there's no chance yeah, well, uh, five minutes if you're gonna stand here and cry because you lost a patient um, who's going to be doing bloods for the next patient? Who's going to be saving the life of the next patient? So we do not have a moment. That's why I always say, counseling is for everyone. Even when I tell my patients, um, go for therapy, I do say, go for therapy. And I do assure them that therapy is for everyone. You must go because, guys, are you conscious? Let me lie down like this. Are you conscious? Everybody needs to go to therapy because, oh, bad bad guys everybody needs to just go see a psychologist uh go for counseling go for social worker whatever but we really do need to um sign up for such because there's no way we see so much trauma um you have a patient they're alive the next thing other circle you know we see um accidents suicides kids being left alone like murder all of these things yeah but so i do feel like doctors do so that is like one of the reasons why i also do not like my job i don't like um having to lose patients and having to tell um the family members that i did all that i could and i i i, I, I just couldn't you know or some things were just beyond my my powers because at the end of the day we do not play god you have to be able to you know and then the other thing that i also hate about being a doctor is um what else what else do i hate about being a doctor the fact that i'm sleeping now i'm on call and i just want to sleep <laughs> now i'm getting very sleepy um what else do I not like about being a doctor? Hmm. Maybe I should make a video about what I like about being a doctor. That is going to be the next video. Um, I also do not like having to discuss patients. I don't like having to discuss patients. You know, because we are different personalities. We are different de uh, personalities according to departments. And there's just uh, this ego thing that's going on with doctors that it's so annoying like when it's so annoying i mean it's like very annoying that when you call and you discuss a patient having to go to um another level of care it's like you you have to beg some people just ask, oh, you do this? or you have to deal with colleagues that do the bare minimum and now everything falls on you uh let's say it's somebody transfers a patient to you and they didn't do certain things that were like basic things to do and they're in an institution where they can do those things now it's all for you to do you know because like hey, you know yeah 
um those are also that's also one of the things that i don't like about my job and yeah basically waking up early guys i also hate the fact that um eight o'clock my son sleeps so i do not get to spend so much time with him after knocking off uh leave early come back late and just play play a bit and yeah so that's why i prioritize my weekends for him like i make sure that i just play with because i miss him a lot and yeah so guys i think that's just about it let me close this video here please remember to like and subscribe also share and if you have any questions please guys please be advised this is my opinion my opinion you know because um yeah i'm not complaining i'm gonna make a video about what i love about being a doctor i'm not complaining that's just basically me and things that i do not like about being a doctor also i really struggle with with having to push around patients to take their medication yo oh, guys so that's another problem you have to be begging patients to take medication I, can't. I do because i love my job but I can't. that's not something that i want to do you know you cancel you cancel you cancel and we're talking about people that not because of their mental state in that time or struggling to accept um certain pathologies they stop medication or i'm just not ready or no i'm not i'm talking about people that just intentionally just like no me no, i'm not doing this yo and they lie patients lie patients will lie to you they just come i think they just like i'm going to the doctor so you plan already your story you get there and there are some things that we get you guys on like it's just like so straightforward so i do not like to decipher such things i'm like you're wasting my time you know like you're wasting my time can you please like you know i wanna i wanna help you like, if you want to help somebody like i wanna i i i wanna help you like i just wanna make sure that you're okay so can you please tell me the truth you know and 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 so i don't like chasing uh patients around um i would like to have a i don't know maybe i sit down one day also with um a traditional healer you know i'm just gonna try and make it happen and then i will announce it or whatever because i need to be able to understand you know to join the two because we are in a world where our patients do go to traditional healers so if we could be able to work together or at least where do we meet each other halfway you know in terms of monitoring patients and giving them treatment and you know working together because they are patients that believe uh, <clears throat> in in our traditional medicine and also want to do the western medicine as well so if we can meet halfway way and 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 and, and because it's very sad that um you will see patients coming from bogus um traditional healers and then they just deteriorate they just deteriorate and we end up losing the patients so it's very very sad but then i know within um when i was a student we used to i was in the kz and deep 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 in the kz and so they were working together with the local traditional healers that were registered and I, it was working you know it was working because now we get patients that just go out of their way to do one two and two country they keep paying and they are they're paying um just just you know right so that one day i'll organize and then see if we can make it possible all right guys thank you very much for watching my video please remember to like and subscribe and also share the video guys i am done my girl is very very tired also very very hungry so yeah bye guys bye